Hi Sagittarius, welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Tarot. Well, I'd love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get into your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this. So Sagittarius, I was called to do your reading first today. And let's come on here. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. So let's see. Most important messages for the sign of Sag. Most important messages for the sign of Sagittarius. I have the Emperor card in reverse, but we have the World card coming out first. And then we have the Emperor card. It wasn't quite in reverse, but it was like turning in reverse. So it was going towards that motion, I say. Um, the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck and the King of Cups. So someone is being called to control their emotions with whatever it is that you're trying to create or manifest. Something is over, so someone is feeling like they're not really them. That someone's not feeling like themselves or someone's leaving a, uh, um, a job or a career. Also, someone could be breaking up with another person. Also, this could be a person who who, who could be a little, like, um, controlling. All right? Let me get more messages, though. Six of Swords. Yeah, someone's moving away from this energy. <laughs> you don't want to be involved with it anymore. This Emperor card in reverse is looking at this world card. Like, wait, is it really over? Seven of Cups. Someone's confused. King of Pentacles may be about your finances or someone's um, willingness to commit. Like I said, well, it could have been a relationship that's over now. Someone's, someone has been focused on their finances, but there is some uncertainty there. More messages for Sagittarius. Put my energy. We have the Seven of Wands, protection, guarding yourself. And then we have the Justice card at the bottom of the deck. About Okay, so what was best for you in this in this situation was for you to say to stay silent. If you felt like you didn't have any help, you feel like the best best thing for you to do is to not say what to say what you need to others. Okay, so you just dealt with something alone. The justice card. You're also thinking about um, this is also someone just deciding to call it quits after not receiving what it is that you feel like you deserve out of a situation. Someone's walking away. Um, someone clearly is seeing themselves and what they and what it is that they want out of themselves or out of a I say a woman, a feminine energy. So let's see, what's the world card? Could I find the world card, please and thank you? We have the eight of swords, self imposing imprisonment, stuck, trapped in your head, caught up. The five of cups at the bottom of the deck, feeling sorry. So this energy is coming to some type of ending where you felt like you couldn't let go or move on. Now you're moving on and protecting yourself, guarding yourself. I heard you're, you're at your your wits end. Ten of wands, burdens, full card. You ready for that new beginning? What's the emperor card in reverse? The temperance card. There you are. So something has been a little um, off balance or off kilter in your life. That's how you've been feeling the six of pentacles. This is what you want, reciprocity. There's two offenses. You've been trying to create balance or control in your life, but you realize it's time for something new because, it, or it's like every time you try, it brings in more anxiety. Someone is feeling like it's hard for them to communicate or speak their truth. But the temperance card on top of the emperor card makes a lot of sense because the emperor card in reverse would be a person who's not balanced at all. But the temperance card is telling, is calling for someone to be balanced, to be patient. I feel like that's you, your energy. Of course it's your energy. But is this the person who's leaving? Or this is the person who's not feeling like themselves or all over the place and a little bit chaotic, controlling. What's the six of swords? The Six of Pentacles, yes, yeah, balance being, uh, it's called, this is being called for balance, or this is a situation that's being called for balance. The Six of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and that full card that I was just talking about. Yeah, you were going back and forth on if you should go forward or not, if you should take that risk or not, if you should continue to put work in the situation or not. Seven of Swords, someone was not being honest and truthful to themselves, or someone was accepting lies in order to try to make something work or turn something around. Mm -hmm. Someone wasn't being honest about them wanting to make something work. Whatever. What's the Seven of Wands? Yeah, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, that's weird. Because this is like your 
blocking it's like blocking blessings blocking your abundance blocking some type of long-term energy or your success someone's feeling you feeling blocked from this energy like you can't have what it is that you want oh you know what this is a, this is it, this is like someone not getting what they want and okay you feel like if you couldn't get it from this one person or this one situation or this one way of doing or thinking you feel like you can't have it at all that way of thinking is actually uh creating blockages all right because you knowing your worth brings in success and um new opportunities that leads to wish fulfillment as long as you don't give up there you are don't give up yet what's the full card like, I mean, like, don't give up on yourself. So we have the Queen of Swords, and then we have the Five of Swords. It seems like someone was saying something to you, or you were saying, I said already that it was hard for you to express yourself or something like that. But I'm also receiving that someone was saying something to you that made it hard for you to move forward. There it is. You were trying to be, like, the better person or the bigger person and, and continue to manifest here, even though it's not working. You were trying to work something out with someone, but it's not working out. What's the Temperance card? That's what I'm kind of getting here. This could also be a situation like where no matter how much you, you put, no matter how much time, energy, money, or whatever you spent here, you don't care. You're still blocking it. So what did I just clarify? The um, temperance card, we have the five of wands and the four of cups. So there was a battle, an argument, um, and then it looks like, hold on, it takes me back to here with this queen of swords and the five of swords. Someone couldn't stop thinking about one, what someone said. So it was like you were rejecting blessings again. It takes me back to that. Ace of Wands energy to the Four of Pentacles holding back or holding on tightly. Even though your intuition was telling you to do something differently and pull it back, rest, rejuvenate. What's the Queen of Swords doing here? The Lovers card. It's a choice or a decision you have to make. And I think it's about you moving on. Moving, moving on, continuing to put some type of work or energy into something. The page of wands is being open. There you are, eight of wands, action or communicating, two of cups. It's a soulmate connection and a nine of swords. Someone's worried about a person that you care for or someone's worried about you. They're, they care for you and they're worried about you. What's the lover's card? It could be that we have the strength card. So who, this is Gemini, Leo energy, king of wands. There you are at the bottom of the deck with the tower card. It is a shift happening within a masculine energy out there. It's about you taking action, taking control of your life and moving forward, facing fears. No, see... Learning what it is that you want, knowing what it is that you want, gaining a new perspective about, is it just love or just becoming emotionally mature and intelligent there to manifest what it is that you truly want in your life? What's this strength card? The will of fortune, things turning around. Someone is, okay, the, this is like having the strength to make this choice or decision to end something that's not working. To create some type of change and transformation in your life. Why am I receiving something about someone's thinking about getting close? Because it's that word card, whatever. What's the the wheel? The wheel is the ace of wands trying to come out. But what's the wheel of fortune? The two of cups. Someone's trying to turn something around in a relationship. Someone wants to. It's a it's a relationship. It doesn't have to be intimate. A friendship, however it is, someone's looking, someone wants to make that choice to turn things to rent, to turn things around, to move forward, to create some type of balance, to put some type of work into something, to put work into something that's more, um, that could lead to more abundance. Hold on, wait, this is weird. It's weird. It's weird because we have like a person thinking about turning things around, around in a relationship or a connection. Was this the same connection that's not working and that's what you're moving away from and now you uh, you decide to block it or it's, it's, it's different energies. It's different energies. There we go. Thank you. Then we have a situation where a person um, may feel like now they have blocked out. Oh, damn. I think I lost it. I think I lost it. Or oh, here we go. Thank you. It, it came back, you all. Someone made the decision or someone is realizing that they made a decision to block out something that could have led to long term and you ready to end making those decisions 
making those in decisions it could have been imp imp impulsively however but it was all out of being in your head all out of all, all all out of what this energy said or what others have said i was talking about that not too long um not long ago as well and then the five of wands energy i was saying um this is about other people being involved and you're not really seeing the blessings that they're that's that are there but paying attention to what they're saying what they're doing the competition that doesn't matter. Nine of Wands, this is about not giving up on yourself and having confidence with yourself. Walking away from whatever it is that you need to walk away from. Something that you don't see about this Three of Cups energy. These people that's working together. Whether they're they working together to betray you or these people that's are, that are in your, li your life. That may be friends, family members, or foes. However it is that's keeping you back. Keeping you from having that wish fulfilling energy that you're looking for. Long term. Or we already said the long term. But maybe... um celebrating just celebrating yourself if you want a commitment go after it go get that if you whatever it is that you want you can have but it's almost as if you believe in that you can't have you can't have what you want in life and truly desire in life like it's not meant for you like miracles doesn't happen what the come on now sage don't just give up hope like that like that can i get some um advice what's the advice so just do something differently. Accept some type of truth. See the truth. Speak the truth. Be the, be your truth. <laughs> be your true authentic self. Do something differently when it comes down to you carrying these burdens because it's it, it's coming. It's becoming overwhelming. It's like you can't even be your happy, fun, jolly self because of these burdens that you're dealing with. And look, oh my goodness, over so, so we have the Star card, the Renew Hope and Faith card, and then we have the Page of Cups, and then we have the Devil card. It's like the devil is taking control over someone's thoughts, um, hoping for some type of new beginning that may or may not be happening. Can I get more on this eight of eight of swords? What is this? Six of cups. Someone's thinking about their past, wanting success or children. It could be like a childhood situation, could childhood trauma. What's the ace of swords? The knight of pentacles. Taking things slow. Tower card at the bottom of the deck, so it kind of makes sense. Allowing something to tower out and moving slowly and move you know slow but for show sure. but as you move forward analyze how you have what it is that you want the people that comes into your space what it is that you're creating but it's time to move forward and move on though um sage it's definitely time to move on and learn how to be happy with yourself again i'm not really saying that like you're depressed or anything but i do feel like this energy of man whatever it just is what it is um what's the knight of pentacles energies energy ace of wands you're inspired to do something, but you're been, you've been heartbroken. Heartbroken. So it's time to see you again. Love who you are again. Know, know your worth again. Release yourself from whatever stagnation this is. Someone is was someone's feeling bad about something not growing. Something not developing. Something not someone is feeling bad. Now, uh, what's the Ace of Wands? Can I get more on the Ace of Wands? The Devil. The Devil. On top of the Ace of Wands. Um, King of Swords and then the Page of Wands energy. Someone has... Um, no. To be honest, this takes me back to feeling like you cannot have what it is that you desire. But yet... How, the way you manifest is some type of negativity connected or attached to that. So it's like um, the things that you desire the most, things that you have fun with, because this is that that's creation and, and passion. It could be as simple as sex. It could be drinks. It can be uh, drugs. Whatever this is, it's like a coping mechanism that's here. It could be as simple as, um, it could be not simple. That's not simple anymore. But it could be um, a person who always does, like, maybe negative things in the streets or something like that. Finesse, hustle, those type of things. Think about what you're doing. What's the devil? That's when I'm getting here. Ace of Cups. We have a lot of new beginnings here, but this is about thinking about what you're doing, being open to the brand new beginnings, slowing down as you move forward. I want this devil to give release from y'all. Or, or, or is this just telling me that 
you all are afraid afraid to actually feed your desires afraid to take it too far or maybe you have taken it too far at one point in time so you try to hold back right four of pentacles six of cups in the past things how without things were crazy so you may be afraid for new beginnings because things got cra kept crazy and chaotic before come on y'all i think y'all know what this is seven of swords in reverse yeah, someone's thinking about that's what that's exactly what I was just saying. Someone's thinking about going left instead of going right. Like when I say left, when I mean straight low type of energy, you're thinking about uh, taking people out. It's to that point. I'm getting a real ruthless energy right there. Two of swords, eight of cups, because you don't see a way out. I cannot make this up. This is what I'm feeling. Someone feels if someone is getting ruthless, someone's energy is getting ruthless because they feel like they can't get away. They don't. They don't have a way out. You want to close this cycle of being in your head. I feel like the chapter is coming to an end, but it's about. It's up to you to see the new possibilities ahead. Okay. Now, don't get this. This is about not getting trapped in your head into those demonic thoughts. It's about taking control of those. I want you to have a happy life. We gonna get a message from the Oracle deck. I'm I'm being I'm being called to God's power. Maybe they have something good for you. Hopefully that they hopefully they do. The most important message is for the sign of Sagittarius. Please and thank you. Most important message is for the sign of Sag. Most important message is for the sign of Sagittarius. We have Hedda, Alliance, and we have Demeter, um, Nurturer, number 21 and number 11. Excuse me, number um, 43 at the bottom of the deck, which is Persephone, and experience. And Spirit is telling me to get healing messages for you all. It's right here. So, let's get this finished. Let's start with Hedda, Alliance, number 21, and then we'll move forward to the next ones. It says the Greek goddess had a wife of Zeus knew intimately that positive alliances led to great power. At this moment, you're magnetized to receive aid from people who have greater wisdom and can help you to the next level. Perhaps it's a mentor who appears or someone in the know. Making connections with others and finding strategic partnerships are favored right now as you explore the nature of becoming empowered by association. This works well if you have a healthy sense of self-worth and if you are able to learn without diminishing yourself in any way. Right now, Hedda is supporting you to form beneficial alliances for the greater good of all. When called to action to, or faced with a decision, ask how does this benefit me and how can I serve the highest good as a result of this connection you may also be called to give help to another who needs your mentorship give freely for only good will come of it this is a wonderful time for all manner of connection and collaboration let's read demeter nature 11. she says giving to others is a wonderful feeling when you have a healthy sense of yourself you want to share your love your inspiration and your experience and the exchange feels clean your boundaries are fluid yet strong the greek goddess of grain motherhood and the harvest, Demeter, reminds you that the harvest that a harvest is meant to be shared. You've now tapped into her nurturing love, which is abundant, and your and your well-meaning gestures will be received with gratitude in some way, returned to you tenfold. Now is the time to nurture yourself too. Forgiving, yeah, forgiving must be balanced by receiving. Allow yourself to feel how the universe is like a wonderful nurturing mother that is always there when you need her i was feeling that a mother energy as well demeter says to trust that you are so loved that you are loved and cared for all day every day and for all time especially now let's read in experience number 43. persephone says in reverse the goddess persephone was forced to pay a high price as restitution for what she thought were innocent actions Today, she is a wiser goddess and is encouraging you to stop what you are doing and pay attention to the red flags. Let me tell you something, because this story is coming into my mind as I look at this. Because I was reading something one day, and it was basically comparing Hedda and Persephone. Hedda, 
dealt with a whole lot of cheating and BS from Zeus. Persephone, she basically had to be the ruler of, I, I think it's hell, if I'm not mistaken. And then her husband was basically like a little demon. I think that's the story, if I'm not mistaken. You all can go check it out yourself. But it's either... It's, it has to be some type of healthy balance here because, of course, it's imbalance. We already talked about that. Someone maybe needs some type of nurturing in their lives because someone is def is, is on their way to go dark left. I already said that. I already said that. Someone's on their way to go dark. And, and, and um, the way you feel like in comparison to others and what's going on in this world, you're like, well, oh, well, at least I don't have to deal with this, this, that, and the other type of energy. And then, <clears throat> like, maybe turning, turning cold. And icy in the vein type of energy. And then Hedda, she was in a relationship, but she was dealing with a whole bunch of BS cheating and um, okay and the crap that he was doing. That type of energy. Is either one of them good? It has to be some type of balance here. So we're going to leave that there. I just feel like I needed to bring that up. Let's move forward. Um, today she is a wiser goddess and is encouraging you to stop what you are doing and pay attention to the red flags. Don't take a bite of the forbidden fruit unless you are willing to pay the price. Okay, I read something else in someone's comments a long time ago and it was saying something about how, um, I don't know where this person got it from. I'm not sure, but they said that the God said that women need to get their stuff together before so-and-so, so-and-so. I can't quite remember the statement, but... It made a lot of sense as I'm looking at this now and then with all these goddesses, right? Us as women, especially when it comes down to these relationships, and if you're, you're a man watching, however, but women have to um, stand strong and know their self-worth first and foremost, especially when being in a relationship because other than that, you would be walked all over, right? So I'm going to bring that word up. Balance again, it has to be some type of balance. That emperor card is coming out reverse lately for a reason. That's for a reason. And I think it has something with maybe the patriarchal system or whatnot, or just that need for a balance to happen because the emperor may have gotten out of control. The masculine energy has gotten out of control. Toxic, toxic masculinity. Don't get me wrong. I know it's some toxic feminine energy out here as well where people are calling it um, dark feminine or some shit, something like that. Whatever. It's toxic. But anyway, we're going to finish this up. <laughs> The goddess Persephone was forced to pay a high, pr pri high price as restitution for what she thought were innocent actions. Today she is a wiser goddess and is encouraging you to stop what you are doing and pay attention to the red flags. Don't take a bite of the forbidden fruit, fruit unless you are willing to pay the price. The alignment task offered to you by Persephone is simple. If you feel unsure in any way about what is being offered to you, step back and ask, Do I have enough knowledge and strength to explore this without attach attachment to what lies ahead? If yes, jump in. If no, consider the wisdom of waiting for this or something better now manifest for you in divine timing. Don't fall for the for the for the seduction. It won't be worth the price. So let's move forward and get a healing message out of here, and then I'll finish. Okay. Most important message for the wonderful Sagittarius is out there. Do you have a connection with a Leo? I'm seeing this Wheel of Fortune right on top of the Strength card and then that Lover's card. So it could be like a, um, you all can have, you can have that in your chart. Or you all could be dealing with one. Or you going to have something like that. But, um, yeah. Most important message for Sag, please. Thank you. Most important message is for Sag. Mm, mm, mm. And it's in reverse. So it's crazy. Um, I think you've been dwelling on this type of energy. It says, loss is my reminder that more room has been made for greater gifts to be received. So maybe you feel like you lost something. Yeah, tra transform a tragedy. And it can't be replaced. But actually, Spirit is basically saying that um, maybe, what it, maybe whatever it is can't be replaced. But something else is coming in. Okay. Something else is coming in. Greater gifts are coming in. And at the bottom of the deck, it says, I take the time to give myself all the approval I desire. Let's read these cards. Here we go. When, tra when tragedy is transformed, you see that endings foreshadow the inevitable arrival of exciting new beginnings. 
it may not feel good to lose the things that once define you but it's um it's life excuse me but it is life life's way of expanding your identity to invite more passion joy and synchronicity into your reality as you transform tragedy any degree of loss merely sets the stage for the arrival of greater gains this mantra is ideal for overcoming personal struggles mourning the death of a loved one and releasing the regret so sorry for the loss if that happened so then let's read untangling neglect it says yeah, it seems like someone's missing a certain someone. It says, um, this is the mantra. I take the time to give myself all the approval I desire. When, when neglect is untangled, you are no longer turning to outside sources for constant reassurance and validation. Instead, you are going within the depths of your own heart to notice the parts of yourself that require the presence of your attention. And nurturing yourself in this way, you step forward as the first responder to each wound, concern, and desire. From this space, there becomes less of a likelihood of attracting relationships where further neglect occurs simply because you have accepted your role as the one who nurtures the innocence excuse me y'all it was the, it, the cat <laughs> from this space there becomes less of a likelihood of attracting relationships where further neglect occurs simply because you have accepted more, your role as the one who nurtures the innocence within you this mantra is ideal for building self-confidence surviving codependency and healing neediness so that was your reading said i hope you all enjoyed it let me know down in the comments if it resonated how it resonated if you like shares all of that good stuff i love you all that love me and i'll see you all next time bye